What is up guys? I'm Uriel Soto and in this video I want to be showing you guys how to create a contact form on WordPress using Elementor. Now if you are wondering how I made this e-commerce website, I do have a video on my channel so make sure to check that out. Um, and if you do find this video very helpful, make sure to subscribe because I always come out with uh, videos that, that I think will help you guys out if you're, if you're trying to build a website. So, first thing you're going to need to do is head over to your dashboard and uh, go into plugins and add new. And we're going to need to install two plugins. The first one is called Ninja Forms. Go ahead and install this one right here. And then click activate. And the second one. Just go ahead and type in um, Elementor and you should be able to find it here. And it's called Essential Add-ons for Elementor. So go ahead and install this one. You might have it already if you are using Elementor. Click Activate and, and add that right in. Let me move this over. Now the other thing we need to do is head over to Ninja Forms and go ahead and click Add New. And since I am starting from scratch, you guys can use uh, contact us form and just kind of um, make your form a lot faster. So just go ahead and click form if you want to create a uh, just a blank form. Now what you need to do here is first thing is add a name. And I'm just going to change this to full name. I don't like having too many um, fields. And I'm going to change this to... Um, required and then I'm gonna add full name as a placeholder and you'll see why later on in the video um, when I'm styling this I definitely suggest you doing this um, so just up here a bit and let's go ahead and add an email I'm not to move to the side now let's go ahead and add an email and then let's add a phone number and let's add a paragraph text I'm just going to go into, into each one and add the placeholder email and actually make these required. I'm going to add um, in phone and we'll change to message and message as well and then click required and also make the phone number required as well and then click done. And then we're going to head over to emails and we're just going to see our success email. So basically whenever they click send, um, this is a message that they're going to get below the form. Um, and then an admin email. This is the email you're going to get um, whenever someone submits a form. So I'm going to change this up um, just so then I know that I know where it's coming from. So I'm going to contact form um, website. And then you can go ahead and use your admin email if you already have a if your admin email is an email that you want to be receiving um, the contact inquiries to then you can go ahead and leave it as is or if you want to add another one just go ahead and remove this and add that email in and I'm going to just name this as contact contact form uh, and then click done and then click publish. And this is automatically going to add, add a uh, submit button for you. And we can name this um, contact. We'll name this contact um, contact us. Contact us and then hit publish. Okay. So now we're going to want to get out of here. And we're going to go into the page that we want to edit. So go into pages and then go into contact. Or whatever page you want to add your... Um, your form into and then I'm gonna click edit with Elementor and then we're just gonna search for ninja you can type in ninja forms if you want to type in the whole thing but it's basically this one right here you're just gonna to want to drag it into your section which I want to have it above um, these boxes here as you can tell you can't see it right now but you will be able to once we select our form. So I have some other ones here, but I'm going to go ahead and choose this one. Contact us. And then I'm going to remove the title because we don't need the title. 
and I'm gonna remove the labels and I'm just gonna have a place folder and I know you can't see it right now um, so what you have to do is you just have to refresh the page and then you should be able to see the form okay so now that we can see the form we can customize this right and I kinda don't like I don't like how this is um this kind of text is out here um, so I want this all aligned right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna get this intersection and we're gonna add it in here and we're gonna remove um, this column here and we're gonna add our form in here instead and then we're gonna click this box here and we're gonna just adjust the content width to about that should be good and then we're gonna go ahead and update this and just do another refresh And as you can tell now it's lined up sort of let's just probably line it up a little bit more just probably a little bit more let's see that well that should be good that's fine that works anyway okay so um let's go ahead and add a title to this at the top here and we're just going to name this contact and that's why i removed the, the title that it already had just so then we can we can create a more custom title to it. So I'm just gonna um, style this a bit. I'm definitely gonna change this font because I don't like this font. But so it's usually the default. Um, okay, eh, let's do a little slimmer. That's fine. And let's maybe change. Let's maybe. Um, no, that's fine as well. Okay. And then let's go ahead and um let's go ahead and bring this down a bit, actually. Actually it's more of that part. So you know what? We actually have to do it within this within this section here. I was end up selecting the wrong one. And um uh, hundred is too much. Let's do about fifty. Fifty works here. Now let's go ahead and stylize this. Um, so make sure you click on your form and then you're going to go into style let me move this over here just so that you guys can see what i'm looking at here um so i'm just going to go straight into um it should be input and text area here so first thing that i want to do is um i want to adjust my um my corners i want to make them round so let's, uh, but not too round though, just something that looks a little clean, just like that. And then the background of this, so you can easily change the background if you want to. I'm gonna make this a little bit more lighter, just a little bit, just so then I can go with my website. Okay, now you are, I know that some people do like to make these um, dark, which actually does work as well. Actually dark looks pretty good too. So we can make it kind of dark, just like this. And then we can go ahead and just make the text um, white. But this isn't the placeholder text, right? So basically, you would have to go in here into a placeholder. And then we'd have to just change this to white. So then we can see that now. You see? And then we can go ahead and change our button as well. So we want, it to, we want this to go with our website. So let's go ahead and just use this green right here. Uh, but I'm not sure that that's a proper green, so I'm going to grab this green. I'm going to save it into my palette. Um, with this version, sometimes it glitches out here, so let me just try to do this again. There we go. Let me go back to my button. And then let's go ahead and just change this to the proper green here. And let's adjust um, the font. The font is fine. Let's do about 800. Let's make this uppercase should be good there uh, maybe round round the edges a bit oops that's not the right one it would be border radius uh, that should be good there too okay Let's see how this looks like on mobile as well maybe make this text a little bit bigger that should be fine and then let's go ahead and actually make this a little bit wider. So we're gonna remove, oops. But this one, no, it wasn't, but this one was at the top and this was about 50. Uh, let's do about 30. And then it should be this one here. 
we can expand this. Um, let's try this one. Yeah, it's this one right here. Okay, so from the left. There we go. That works for me. That's fine there. So it looks like it's mobile optimized now. Okay, so that looks fine as well. Let's update this. And let's see how this looks like on the website. Now, as you can tell, now this looks like a really clean form that people can just submit. And this will go straight to your email. Um, now, let's say you want to add a background to this. So you can easily add a background to this as well. And then, because I know that some people do like to add a little background. Um, let's say our background is going to be, what is a good background? Or you know what? Yeah, let's do a black one. Let's say you have a black, because I know some people have um, websites that are dark, you know, and you want to have a form, right? What's like the best form? Um, what's the best style for a, for a, for a dark website? Um, so let me show you how to do that, just in case. So let's just add some, um, let's add some padding, sorry, on this. So we probably want to do about 30, you know what, let's do the entire thing 30 actually. I think that will work better. Okay, that's fine right there. All right. Now let's go into the, the submit button is fine. The only thing that we mainly need to edit is just um, the input text area. And we're gonna leave this, usually people like to do white and then just bring it down. And it would just end up being a little bit gray, so but you kind of want to do it a little bit darker though. So probably just like this. And then your uh, border, this is your border radius, sorry. Um, your border, let's work on the border here. So we can go ahead and remove the border if we need to. And you see how clean that looks as well. Let's go ahead and save this because that actually works very well. Now that's if your website is, uh, if you do have like a, you know, dark website, so. And I know that you're seeing that it's adding these labels at the top. We don't want those, so let's go ahead and, usually you just select this, you you have to hide these, but for some reason they're showing, probably might be different on your website. Um, but yeah, so that is pretty much how you create a contact form using Elementor. Um, I hope this